today's curiosity is, are premium gel brushes worth it? I will be comparing gel brushes at two different price points. The premium Japanese brushes from three brands and two very affordable options for Chinese gel brushes like on Aliexpress or Amazon. I will be walking you through my gel brush journey with genuine, brutally honest opinions. So I'm not sponsored and here to give you some really good ideas on where to get started with gel brushes. First off, let's talk about overview of the brands. So for premium gel brush brands, I know of Cuckooist, Presto, and Vetro. They cost around $14 to $25 each brush. Then for Chinese brushes on AliExpress, they can be as low as $0.70 cents to $3, $4, $5 each. And the brands that I use is BQAN or Boquan, Ang, Naya, and uh, these cheap generic ones by the Blue Heart store. On Amazon, you'll see often the Beatles model ones and these like random Chinese quote unquote brands. There are some really good prices on the Boquan brand that I recommend. Premium brushes. So for Cocoas, the cost varies by the type that you buy. So as you can see, the round brushes cost around $22, $23, and then a medium flat brush will be about $26. Liner brushes are the cheapest at $20. Cocoas has 17 different brush styles, and they come with caps. They are black wooden handles with metal caps. They come from Kumano, Japan, made with PPT fibers. So I purchased directly from Kokuis USA at a 20% discount, and the free shipping is at $100. Vetro brushes are $18 each. It comes in six styles, and two of them are liners. It is made with a specific Japanese nylon called Teijin, and obviously it's made in Japan. So I like to buy on Skyline Beauty LA and it the free shipping is at $45 only. So it's quite reasonable and they have really good sales, like 20% off. Presto is the last premium Japanese brand that I own and uh, they are also sold at Skyline for only $14 but it does not come with a cap. So that's really frustrating because you have to have a cap for every gel brush that you have. I first started my gel brush journey on AliExpress. So let me tell you about the Boquan store or the BQAN brand. They are as low as $1.75 each, but unfortunately with inflation, it is now coming at $2.60 or around $3.15 each for these black wooden ones that are very basic, but they are actually really high quality with the bristles that they use. The next one is Angnaya Store, which is actually a sister brand of the Boquan brand. And so I have these beautiful rose gold dual ended brushes and they only cost around four dollars so you're only really paying about two dollars for each brush since it is two brushes in one handle and the angnaya black dual ended ones are only 250 so that's even a bigger steal and last but not least there are these generic half like brush with cap as the handle and it was a five piece for only three dollars with free shipping but now it looks like they are not doing free shipping and so it costs more around like four dollars for the set of five let's talk about the important features of a gel brush so to me the most important part is the brush fibers and usually it is made of nylon or pbt pbt is a thermal plastic poly polyester compound and it does not absorb water as much as the nylon bristles does and so these are really fine filaments that offer you really great control 
and these synthetic brushes are really good for the elasticity, spring, and durability. The other part that you often focus on on a brush is the handle and so they can be made of wood or metal and glass and can have very like bling bling features. I personally enjoy the wooden handles because you know like it's in your hand it doesn't have to look pretty it just needs to function well but unfortunately the wooden handles do wear and tear much more because the paint is dissolvable in the solvents that we use for gel and so I do like the metal and slash glass that I have in these rose gold brushes that are dual ended and it's much easier to like wipe clean with acetone and it looks really beautiful so it's a win-win the last part of a brush that is very very important that I feel like is not talked about enough is the actual cap so you really need to have one cap per brush because that is what make, guarantees the safety and the functionality of your brush. If it ever becomes exposed to light, then it, the gel that's on your bristles will cure, become solid, and then now the brush is ruined. And so I would really stay away from buying brush sets that do not come with caps because then now you have to go make your own caps out of really ugly aluminum foil or you run the risk of ruining your brushes. You really just need three brushes in your life. You need a rounded, a liner, and a square or angled. And so these are the brushes that I purchased in multiple sets because you do want to have one brush per type of gel. So you want a brush for your base coat top coat. You want a brush dedicated to dark colors and you definitely want a brush dedicated to like your white so it never looks like muddy because you contaminated it with your dark gel. And then last but not least, you really want a brush dedicated to glitter because no matter how good you are at cleaning your brushes, you might just miss some. So it's just better to dedicate specific brushes for specific gels. Brushes can last as long as five years and possibly 10 years if you really take care of them. And so this is just a, supposed to be one-time investment for at least a decade. And it's really important in my opinion to pick some high quality brushes. So after buying like 20 different gel brushes, I can honestly say nothing beats the premium brushes with just the plain wooden handles. This is what the pros use, especially, you know, in Japan and Korea where the gel nail industry is super hot and popular. Uh, here in the three premium brush brand, the most affordable one is the Vetro and Presto. I would definitely get another Presto brush if I had more money, um, but I am very annoyed that the cap is sold separately for like $350. And so if Skyline or when Skyline has another sale, I would definitely buy another Presto brush. For the cheap AliExpress brushes, I really, really love these Boquan wooden brushes because of the quality of the bristles. But now with inflation, I think it's just much more cost effective to buy one of the dual ended brushes that they make by the sister brand and Naya. And I really love these rose gold ones, but they have other designs in like marble or like blue and just there's just so much to choose from. And, but I do love how there's a lot of rose gold options so my brushes will match. My most favorite brush that I reach for the most is actually this rose gold dual ended brush that has an angled end, angled oblique end, and a liner on the other end. Because um, a trick that I found is you use the liner brush to get really close to the cuticle and then you have the most perfect application of base coat before you go in with your color gel and designs. And so nothing beats this brush and I'll probably buy a second one just so I have 
more than one to use at one time if I switch colors. Uh, the one that I actually regret buying are these half cap combo generic ones in this five set. So I really enjoy these bristles and they feel really good when I apply the gel, but the cap and handle situation grinds my gears. You can really see how much I struggle taking the cap off and on. And so I guess it is good to have as backup or for like messy glitter art, but I, I, I just hate the handle on this. Shopping on Amazon or Aliexpress for gel brushes is actually really overwhelming because there's just a huge selection and you just don't know which brand is good or not good and the quality and so I actually did some research on the Boquan brand and they have an amazing factory profile as they call it. They have been in the industry for 10 years since 2004 and they are manufactured in Nanchang which is known as the China Pen City where they make lots of pens and brushes and so it's just really good to find a brand that you know is really established and they do R&D and they work with Chinese based artists to make really good brushes for quality professional work and so I just highly recommend this brand because number one is just so affordable but also the quality is amazing and they use really good nylon bristles and they are bundled and crimped into like an actually good performing nail brush so highly recommend them you can actually buy them on Amazon which I do like and actually as you can see here it is really affordable so like actually cheaper than Aliexpress and faster shipping so uh, do look for brushes or sets with caps so I really like this purple set but it only comes with two caps so even though it's so cheap it makes me not want to buy it because there's not enough caps for all the brushes this other set I really like because you get all the brushes that you need and it has a cap for every single brush so even though it's a little bit more expensive, it is only like $3 a brush. So that's just as affordable as Aliexpress. That was my journey on buying gel brushes as a hobbyist or new to gel. I hope you learned from my mistakes and you find something that you like to use that is both affordable and high quality. I recommend you try a Japanese gel brush one time in your life and invest in some and then buy some really affordable Chinese brushes for backup or just to use every day because I use a mix of both every time I put on gel. So let me know what you are curious about next but I do have my swatching collection coming up and more nail and makeup videos. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Thank you. See you in the next curiosity.